In today's video, I'm gonna be providing you with two different styles of match beating concepts that you can use out of trips tied in if you're ever dealing with match coverage. This is a really, really good way to manipulate it and really just get your opponent out of calling match coverage. I think match coverage is probably one of the worst defenses you could be calling this year, specifically because it just really has a lot of broken principles and a lot of broken rules, and they're really able to be taken advantage of. I did not think they did a really good job with match coverage this year. It's the reason why I've yet to release a match coverage offensive or defensive ebook, even though I've released one the last three or four seasons. And the main reason why is because I literally think it is, 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 like I said, as bad as it has ever been. It literally doesn't even take away. It, it, it's almost pointless to, get, to be ran against compression and against spread sets. There's some easy, easy ways to get a one play touchdown. With that being said, I'm going to show you this. We're going to be in the play uh, deep in curl flat. I've been the Bills trip side in. If you want to get my trip side in offensive ebook, the link's going to be in the description for that. Um, really, we're just going to be looking for a couple of key routes. The, the ma main one is a crossing route to the inside trips receiver or a deep post route to the inside trips receiver. So you could do this from the play verticals. You could do this from the play curl flat. We'll show you it from a couple of different uh, things here. But let's first and foremost start with the play uh, deep in out of the out of the Bills trips. Now, all we're going to do on this play in terms of creating a match coverage beater is we're just going to motion the running back out on a route. It doesn't really matter what the route is, okay? It can be anything for our purposes in this video, we're going to put him on a drag route, and then we're going to take the middle trips receiver, and we're going to also put him on a flat route. What this is going to do is just kind of help us create some nice spacing just in case they aren't in match coverage. What you're going to see, though, is that this circle receiver, literally nobody's going to guard him, and it's going to be a one-play touchdown against the cover four quarters defense every single time. What we've essentially done by motioning this running back out into the out into the receiving, uh, basically out of the backfield here, is we've created a uh, a five wide set. If you put this guy on the left side on a streak, sometimes he won't be guarded either, as you can see right here. So you can even make it as simple as doing something like that. Another cool part about that is this allows us to do um, this allows us to actually do some cool stuff because we could do something like this. Let me uh, let me pull up the play verticals. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end on uh, a streak. We're going to put the running back on a streak, put the inside trips receiver on a streak. We're going to put the it's basically like four, literally four verticals is what we're going to call. And what you're going to see is they literally can't defend this with the match coverage. They literally it's it's, it's completely broken. Um, it, it should be a very easy uh, check for the match coverage to make. And they just aren't able to do it. Now, if you're playing somebody that kind of knows what they're doing, they're probably going to be coming out in cover four palms. And if they are covering and coming out in cover four palms, it will slightly change the match principles. And so what you'll see is if I do that same exact setup here that I was showing you out of the play deep in, then this actually has a chance to play this a little bit better. Now, the post route is still isolated one on one. So please keep that in mind. The post route is still 100% isolated one on one. So just please keep that in mind. Another thing real quick that a lot of people like to do if they're running match coverage is they'll man align. When you motion this running back out, you remove their ability to be in a man align defense. Uh, it's just another way to kind of manipulate the match coverage uh, principles. Let's talk a little bit more about the cover four palms and how uh, we can actually take advantage of this as well. So with cover four palms, essentially what's going to happen here is, number one, we could just take this triangle receiver and put him on a streak. And a lot of times what will happen is he'll actually be a touchdown against the cover four palms. As you can see right there, at least a big play because the match coverage takes way too long to turn, convert from zone into man. Now, that's going to kind of bring me to my second match beater that I want to show you. As we already showed you here, um, you know, basically through using the crossing routes and stuff, you can really manipulate match coverage. So even something as simple as the play curl flat, all you have to do is motion this guy out. And this is a little bit better of a, a route for beating match because, as you can see here, it's going to basically just beat it almost like it's man coverage. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about the cover four palms as, uh, for a few more minutes, and also this will cross apply to cover six. But essentially what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the play, any play with a corner route to the left side. So in this example, Bill's wide post, we have a corner route to the left. We're going to streak this middle trips receiver. And then with a the tight end, you can kind of do whatever you want here. You can leave him on this route. I just want you to look to the left side of the screen. What you'll see here is the tight end, or I apologize, totally messed up the route. Let me uh, let me show that again. I think I forgot to put the we put the tight end on a streak, kind of clear him out a little bit, or maybe they did patch this. 
So basically the idea is just this combo on the left side is really hard for them to, to take. So like, let's say here's cover six and yeah, actually it's playing it. Not bad. The corner route is open, even if the streak's not. So just keep that in mind. The corner route is certainly available to you. They might've actually patched this, or it might've been a cover four quarter specific thing. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. But a lot of times what happens is they actually double team the corner route and the streak gets one on one. But let me uh, let me put the let me put the outside trips receiver on like a drag or an end something coming inside, so that he can kind of manipulate that quarter flat. Let's see if we can get that manipulation here. Not quite what we're looking for, so we'll have to just leave that as it is. But what I do want to show you in terms of the cover six or the cover four palms, another thing that you have access to here is the left side of the field is going to be a little bit more easy to be easily manipulated. So we're going to go to Bills Wide Post. We're just going to motion the running back out. He can be on anything. We're going to put him on a streak just for our purposes of the video. And I want you to watch the tight end. The tight end is going to be left one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And it's basically like it's man coverage, just like it would be like a cover zero. So one good easy way to think about match, especially in Madden 24, is it's very much so almost like delayed man-to-man -man coverage. And even though that's a little bit of an oversimplification of what match should be and what match actually is in real life in Madden, it's actually kind of true that it's basically delayed man coverage, especially this year against spread set. So here's cover six. You'll see this tight end. See how he'll just kind of cook that man coverage. That guy actually played it fairly well, but a lot of times the tight end will cook that on the bills. Wide post play. And then again, one other last little setup for just for fun is this play verticals. Just motion the running back out, put him on any kind of thing coming over the middle. In this example, it's going to be a drag route, and it's going to leave the circle receiver to get completely isolated on the crosser. And that guy actually played. Derwin James kind of played out of his mind right there. Um, but typically, he'll be isolated on the crossing route, and you'll be able to throw that. Let me show that one more time. Can't end on that. So this time, we'll actually put the running back on um, like a slant route or something. But essentially, you're just trying to get these one-on-ones where your crosser can get isolated on the quarter, and they just can't really convert well enough on these crossers. So these are a couple of the best ways in Madden to manipulate and attack match coverage. The easiest one in the game is just a simple one out of deep end. And it doesn't even have to be out of this play, but just simply something like this right here is really hard for match coverage to handle out of trips tight end this year, um, especially if they're running cover four quarters. Like I said, you might have to uh, put the running back on a slant route or something like that uh, just to get him you know, a little bit more engaged in terms of what they're able to do defensively. But really, it should be just as simple as this streak right up the middle out of a motioned out five wide set, and you'll completely ma manipulate match coverage 99% of the time. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Tripside In offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.